Hey there, Green Spamoni here. Turns out I am really not good about keeping up with these videos during the semester, am I? I apologize for that. Truth of the matter is, <clears throat> during the semester, any time that I spend not studying, I'm usually spending it on or with my family. So, not much time. Um, luckily, right now, it's my spring break. It's actually the end of my spring break. And, of course, being the good little nursing student that I am, I've been working on um, some assignments in addition to our regular assignments. I wanted to get them out of the way when I'm not rushed. So, as soon as I do this video and get this uploaded, I get to go finish up a paper that I've been struggling with. Um, okay, so, as far as nursing school to this point, this semester, for me, is... Uh, they call it Concepts of Adult Health 1 and 2. It's essentially Med Surge 1 and 2. Um, and it's divided, it, you know, it's a 16-week semester, and we have it divided into two eight-week mini-mesters. So I've already finished Part 1. We finished that um, two weeks before spring break started. So Med Surge 1, or Concepts of Adult, adult Health 1, is out of the way. And we have started Med Surge 2 or Concepts of Adult Health 2. Um, the week before spring break, we were checked off on um, starting IVs. So my clinical instructor assures us that we are all going to be starting IVs on real people when we start back at clinicals next week. That's um, exciting and terrifying at the same time. Um, I finished. Med Surge 1 with a B. On the one hand, yay, I finished with a B. On the other hand, it's my first ever B. So I did lose my 4.0. But, you know, they do say that a B or even a C in nursing school is like an A in any other program. And I actually only missed the A by less than a point and a half. I mean, not to get specific, but it was actually 1.33 points. Yeah. Um, so again, I could be upset that, oh my gosh, only 1.33 points. But on the other hand, I only missed that A by 1.33 points. So I feel like I'm still on track. Track. Um, don't have a whole lot of tips for you. I'm still struggling to figure out how to study. I, I know that my problem right now is the NCLEX style questions. It's figuring out how to go through the NCLEX style questions, how to dissect them, how to answer them, essentially. That's what I'm struggling with right now. And from what I understand, that's something that eventually does click, but it clicks at different times for different students. So I'm just waiting for my click to come. In the meantime, I know that on the last test I took, at least one of the questions I missed because I forgot one of those um, lab values. So I found a tip online that I'm going to share with you, and I don't know if it's going to help, but I hope it will. So maybe it'll help you, you know. Anyway, what I have done is the lab values that seem to elude me the most, or even the ones that don't seem to elude me, because the lab value I missed was one that I knew, but it was presented in such a way that I was kind of going back and forth on it. You know, is it... Is it 5? Is it 5.5? I couldn't remember. So that's what messed me up. So what I have done is I've written all of my lab values down on post-it notes. And I have strategically placed them throughout my house. My family was a little bit flipped out at first. Um, my husband looked at my PT and INR values that are posted on the um, door going to the garage. And just kind of read them out loud, you know. INR 2 to 3 therapy. What the hell does this mean? Once I explained it to him, he thought it was very cool. My son, on the other hand, is going around and trying to decipher all of them. He's um, figured out so far that CA is calcium. Well, he knew that. He just asked me about that. Anyway, so like I've got on my garage door, I've got a couple of them on my bathroom mirror. I think I've got the bun and creatinine levels on my bathroom mirror. I have a couple on my bedroom mirror. I have some um, going along the steps to go downstairs. I've got a couple on my front door. Um, I think I've got some on the coat closet. 
and I still have other places. I've already warned my husband that um, at this point, if I come up with more lab values, he's going to see them in additional places throughout the house. I'm hoping as long as I stop and look at those, the idea behind it is to remember which ones are, are where also and to be able to close my eyes and picture them. And then when I'm faced with one in a test, the hope is that I will be able to close my eyes and picture where the lab value is, where it's posted, and actually see it in my mind. And that's what seems to work for me best. So, fingers crossed on that. In the meantime, um, wow, I can't think of anything else. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to go and finish my paper. It's not due for another, I think, three weeks, but the month of April, from what I've looked at on the schedule, is going to be tough for us. We've got a lot going on. So better to get it done now and have it out of the way than to be rushing around trying to finish it when it's due. Although I'm starting to see that um, that looming deadline kind of works in my favor because I'm able to concentrate on it right now. I'm struggling to stay motivated with it and I keep looking at it going, well, it's not due yet and I can go do this. And I've been taking a lot of breaks because I'm just, I'm struggling to concentrate on it. And if I, if I'm struggling to concentrate on something that sig signals, can't talk today, signals to me that it's time to get up and go do something. And that is something that's important for anybody who's a new or incoming nursing student. There's a lot of reading and there's a lot to retain and you're not going to retain all of it, but you're really not going to retain it if you're just going through the motions. So if you're doing your reading and you're finding that you're having to read the same line or the same paragraph two and three times, or you're reading about, I don't know, the digestive system and your mind is thinking digestive system. Oh, what am I going to make for dinner tonight? It's time for you to get up, take a break, walk around, do something else for 10, 15 minutes and then go back to it. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope everybody is having a good semester, whether you're nursing, pre-nursing, or pre-pre-nursing. Um, and as always, I thank you for watching. I thank you for subscribing. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, feel free to add them below. And I'm not always the best about getting back to you immediately on those, and I apologize for that. But I do get back to you eventually. Um, but again, you know, my number one priority right now, aside from my family, is just getting through nursing school. I just want to get this done because I'm finding more and more often <clears throat> that I'm sitting there going, I am so over this. I'm so tired of this. I just want to be done. And that's the truth. I just want to be done. So I, I got to study and I got to keep studying so I can get through this and graduate and then go on to take my NCLEX and get to work. Um... Hello to all my new subscribers. Thanks again for subscribing, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.